So today we are doing extractions from Russell's Vipers. This is Tavoya Russelli, or some people say Russelli, however you prefer. And this bloodline that we have is from Pakistan. I will remind people that Jim's fingers are taped due to a ligament injury, not anything to do with snake bite. The venom from these snakes is being used to make an antibody test uh, for lupus. Uh, these snakes have uh, clotting factor activators in their venom and they can cause blood to clot differently in the test than someone who does not have lupus antibodies. So it can be one of the markers to check for lupus. And that's actually why we're extracting from them is uh, this venom goes to make that test. These particular snakes are about two years old. They were born here. And we do try to use captive born snakes as often as we can for venom extraction. So that way they're, we know they're nice and healthy, we know their history, and we're not removing things from the wild. A lot of people feel these snakes are really beautiful. I have to say I agree. They do this interesting behavior that this one's kind of trying to do, but Jim doesn't really want it to, where they put their head underneath their coils, and they kind of put their coils on top of it that makes it difficult for uh, them to be pinned and gotten a hold of safely. Of course, they all know they're going to be pinned in the wild, so they use it as a way to keep predators from getting to their head. Yep, just got to protect the head. So Russell's vipers, where they're found uh, in Southeast Asia, uh, actually are a very significant cause of snake bites. These snakes are somewhat tolerant of human disturbance and can definitely be found in agricultural areas where people are uh, walking around and sometimes barefoot farming or herding livestock. So bites from Russell's can cause uh, a lot of tissue damage, so people can lose uh, limbs or significant tissue or be uh, have mobility issues after a bite. Um, they're also uh, a snake that causes a lot of human fatalities. And some of that is due to the logistics of uh, getting medical care and having access, but it also is a significant venom. These snakes, uh, because of those uh, procoagulants, actually can cause you to uh, use up your clotting factors, and they can lead to uh, kidney damage or kidney failure, which is obviously also fatal long-term. Let you guys watch one more here. out this video with this snake here who is actually the father of the smaller ones. He's also thinking about getting his head under his coils there or was for a second. Alright guys, thanks for watching.